Hi all, welcome back to the shop. Uh, yesterday I, I was uh, ordering my videos and uh, I discovered on one of them that, uh, that there was something interesting that I didn't share with you. Um, when you create a CNC, you need to have one or more power supplies. And um, you need basically to have a plus 5 volt and uh, maybe a plus 12 volt. Another one uh, if you need to, to power the, the stepper motors. In this machine, there is, um, <clears throat> let's say, four power supply. The first one and the biggest one is uh, this one. It is um, 48 volts and it is used to power the stepper's motors for, for the axis. But for all the electronic, you need uh, the plus 5 volt, for example, for all the, the things. Um, we need some um, 5 volts and also uh, plus 12 volts and uh, I use also a cross laser uh, to make the setup of the machine and uh, I, I need also uh, uh, 3 volts so um, th the easiest way to buy um, one power supply by voltage unit but uh, the cost could be very high and uh, th there is uh, something very interesting that you can use uh, indeed, if you take um, this kind of um, power supply, it comes from uh, you know personal computers. You can either buy by the by them. So this one is around between ten and twenty bucks, no more. Or you can uh, take it on an old uh, personal computer. But there is some uh, some tips to make this uh, power supply unit running. So it came like that, with a, with a box and some plastic, you have a fan on the top and you have many many um, wires on it. So, um, this kind of power supplies for the personal computers um, gives you uh, three different kinds of power. You have the plus 12 volt and the, the color of the plus 12 volt is the, the yellow uh, the yellow wire you have the plus 5 volts the plus 5 volt is the red wire and you have also um, the plus 3.3 volts uh, given by the oranges uh, wires so there is other stuff with the, the, the wires but uh, it's not to be concerned for the moment the only thing you have to, to know about this kind of power supplies uh, is the fact that uh, they will not run uh, if they are not properly uh, installed uh, and designed. So, uh, the things to know is those uh, kind of power supplies is only working if the plus 5 volts is under load. And uh, the, the way you have to put some loads is either by having some a lot of uh, uh, card interface and electronics or if you want to be sure to start with uh, any uh, loads you can add a resistor and uh, if you add a resistor you have to put it between one um, on the 5 volts uh, on one uh, red wire and a black one that is the ground and it's what I done on my CNC machine I use uh, this kind of resistor it's a, it's a 10 watt resistor um, and I welded uh, the plus 5 volt on, on the one end and I welded the ground on the other end and it's the way I put some load on the plus 5 volt and in this machine the plus 5 volt was loaded with a 1.5 ohm uh, 10 watt resistor so the same one that, that this one and when you do that uh, as the power supply is under load uh, it will be able to start but the second thing to know about the power supply is the fact that you will not start if you do not connect um, this green wire, so if you look at uh, the big connector here, uh, I think it's an ATX connector. Yeah, there is many different color wire, and one of them, look this one, is a green one. And the green one should be connected to uh, a black one. So uh, it's still the, 
the power supplies to start and if you do that with the proper resistor uh, putting the load on the 5 volts uh, the power supply will start and you will have a very high quality with a very low cost so i can show you on my machine uh, the, the way i design it and i way <coughs> i create the load and uh, it starts so you can see here uh, the power supplies with the fan and just down there is here a small fan uh, on a radiator and just below uh, you have just below the radiator the blue one you have the resistor so i put a resistor with a small fan coming from a cpu just uh, to be sure that the resistor will not be burned during hours of uh, of running the machine and uh, you can see so the plus five volts uh, arriving here two wires to have a uh, more power and the the other two wires here coming from a uh, uh, the ground so uh, it gives the load to the power supply and if you look at the connector here you can see that the green uh, was scattered and the green is connected to uh, the ground and uh, it's the way uh, I have three power units in one with a very high quality of, uh, of uh, regulation on the, on the voltage and I create some rail here so you have the plus 12 volt to connect all my devices uh, you have in the middle the ground you have the plus 5 volts on, on the right side and down to the 12 volts you have also the 3.3 three, uh, three volts i use for a small device so it's the way you can very simply have a big power a very accurate power supplies and a very high quality of signal so um uh, this uh, PC uh, power supply unit um, provide all the power needed for the 12 volts, uh, the 5 volts, and the 3 volts on my CNC. So uh, I guess it can help you, and uh, you know the cost of that is only between uh, 10 and 20 bucks. So here it is. Thank you guys, and see you for our next video.